Hi, welcome back with Nathan here. Today I'm going to introduce you about Digital Twin with Autodesk Tandem. So, the Digital Twin from Autodesk Solution is called Autodesk Tandem. And in here we're able to, the main purpose of Autodesk Tandem is to give us the Digital Twin of the building, like the situation of the building, what component lies beneath it. So, in this example below, I will give you a little bit of preview how Tandem achieves uh, the, the supporting system of the digital twin. So let's see. So in Tandem, you can do many things. So we can see that uh, we have our general architecture model and actually our coordination model. And in here, we can see that if we want to see the, let's say the cafe or kitchen, we can actually see the individual components that resides beneath the building. So, at here we have all the MEP plumbings that we have, like like the pipes. All of the component that was featured within our B model is actually the model, and we show in tandem. Right, so we actually can see that the kitchen. We can actually see the properties of each components. Say we have like the stove here and its specification, architectural assets, right? So we can, every item that we modeled in our BIM project that we modeled in Revit, actually shown here as the digital twin. And we can also see just like, let's say we want to see a parking spot, right? You can see that the parking levels only, right? So the parking levels only and its related uh, objects, so say we have like this one we have the we have viewed the parking unit how many spaces the parking have and the interesting thing is that we can actually see the streams of the model so let's say the parking doesn't really have any streams of models but we can see it on say level two okay so level two they actually have uh, like the walls and etc or we can if we want to be more precise, we can see like the live work unit on 405, right? So 405, then we can see how the streams will be going. Right? So let's see in here, should came up, okay? Now in here, we can also see not only the building components, but we can also see that the building that resides the room that we set here have actually all the reports that we have. Uh, so if we see that we have the official visualization of historic stream data limited to 14 days for this facility. So it's actually uh, back tested up to 14 days earlier, right? So what can we get from here is we can get actually like the airflow, humidity. Uh, this is just an example, the temperature. So it's actually in Fahrenheit because probably because of the project is built in Fahrenheit, right? So we get to see that the highest actually is that it reaches around 74 degrees in uh, 12 p.m., right? Which is the midday. Okay, so let uh, say I want to see another one, like the residential lobby in here, right? Residential lobby, I want to see like the, what will people feel? So not all of the rooms will have visible streams because not all rooms also have air conditioners, right? And if we want to see, maybe we can see here, two-story studio unit. This have any streams? Okay, it has uh, streams, right? And it's actually pretty live, so it's different in each room. So we see on the early video, uh, early part of the video that the uh, highest temperature is 72 degrees but in here it's much much higher probably because it's on uh, top of the like closer to the sun right or because of the position of the room and we can also see like the asset management so like here you can see all the assets that were classified right we can see that the architectural assets that was being placed in here right we can also see that the building elements just actually just a collection much and the system so it shows you the overall um, MEP model of the building right so this this actually gives you a proper clear understanding of the 
views. And yeah, this is just, this is how uh, Tandem works, right? So it's basically a digital model. And if you, also, if you just want to see like the buildings itself, right? You can just uncheck this filter here, right? Let's check this asset classifications. And then you can just see, say, I want to see the mechanical thing only, right? In this case, electrical, architectural, and HVAC. So you just, uh, more, sorry, HVAC, plumbing, right? Disable, facet, disable structure, disable the site. Right? So you get to see all of your digital model, right? Within the, right? Within the programs.